Hey guys, we're going to be doing some more comparing fractions today. I'm just going to show you some more examples of how you can compare fractions by finding a common denominator. Just so that you can see a couple more ways, see it a couple more times, maybe it'll start to make even more sense. All right, so the first ones we're going to compare are 5 ninths and 2 thirds. Okay, we're going to come over and we're going to make our T-chart. Not five. Okay, sorry guys. Nine, we've got to use the denominator, not the numerator. And three. And we're going to multiply them. One, two, three, four. All right, nine times one is nine. Three times one is three. Nine times two is 18. If you don't know your facts, you can always pull out your multiplication chart and use it. If you don't have a multiplication chart, you can make another one. I sent home a couple of pieces of grid paper for you. Three times two is six. Nine times three is 27. Three times three is nine. And here's where I can stop because I see that I have a common factor. I have a nine here and a nine here. Now, if you know your facts well enough, to know that nine is a multiple of three, that three times something will give you nine, all you have to do is think three times what gives me nine and you can leave the five ninths alone. Now because our nine is our denominator, we're not gonna do anything to this fraction. We're going to leave it alone. It's going to stay five ninths. We are going to change two thirds and we're going to change two-thirds by multiplying it by a one. Remember, any time the numerator and the denominator are the same, it equals one. And we want our ending denominator, our product of this, to be nine. So I have to think, three times what gives me nine? I already wrote it down over here. Three times three gives me nine. So a three goes in here to make it a one. Since it's a three in the denominator, I need to put a three in the numerator. Two times three is six. So two thirds is the same as six ninths. If I have two things that are the same size, they have the same amount of equal pieces, the one with more pieces is going to be bigger. So in this case, 5 ninths is less than 2 thirds. All right, let's do another one. Let's do 5 sevenths and 3 fifths. This is going to be a good one that you're going to want to use this strategy for because most of the times when they've got fraction bars for you, they're not going to have sevenths. But we can always take our denominators, five and seven, and start making our multiple chart. All right. 7 times 1 is 7, 5 times 1 is 5, 7 times 2 is 14, 5 times 2 is 10, 7 times 3 is 21, 5 times 3 is 15, 7 times 4 is 28, 5 times 4 is 20. Okay, let me check. Do I have any multiples here? Well, I know if I've got a five, it's gonna to have to end in a five or a zero. All my five multiples end in five or zero. None of my sevens do yet. Seven times five is 35. Oh, see, I like that five right there. That gives me a little bit of a clue, but I'm not there with my fives yet. Five times five is 25. I'm gonna leave this one alone for just a minute because I do like that five, but I'm gonna keep going with my fives. Five times six is 30. 5 times 7 is 35. So one thing that I don't know if you guys have noticed, but sometimes you can just multiply each denominator by the opposite denominator. 
that will work, but it won't always give you the smallest one. If we had done that up here, we would end up with 27 and 27, which is okay, it will still work, but it just takes a lot more. I would have had to multiply five ninths times three thirds, and then I would have had to multiply two thirds by nine ninths. So it can be done, it's just not always the easiest thing. Okay, so five sevenths, here's my common denominator, the 35. I need my new denominator to be 35. Seven times what gives me 35? Five. Since there's a five in the denominator, I have to also put a five in the numerator. Five times five, well, I've already done it, it's right here, is 25. So five sevenths is the same as 25 30 fifths, which we definitely don't have fraction bars for. All right, let's move our other one, 3 fifths, and we need to give it a denominator of 35. Okay, five times what is gonna give me 35? Seven. Seven in the denominator, seven in the numerator. Three times seven, I don't have that over here, but I know that three times seven, oh, I do two, it's right there. Three times seven is 21. Okay, so which one's bigger? 25 30 fifths or 21 30 fifths? 25 30 fifths is bigger. Five sevenths is greater than three fifths. All right, last one. We're gonna do one half and three sixths. We're gonna make our chart, I'll do it in green. Through six and two. All right, two times one is two, six times one is six. Two times two is four, six times two is 12. Two times three is six, and there's where I will stop because I have a common denominator and you can't see it. Sorry guys. All right. Here we go. Common denominator of six. So I can leave this three sixths alone. I don't have to mess with it at all because I would just be multiplying it by one over one and that would just leave me with exactly three sixths. But I do need to change my one half. One half, I need it to equal something with a denominator of a six. Two times what is gonna give me six? Three. So put a three in the denominator, a three in the numerator. One times three equals three. One half equals three six. So one half, look, one half equals three six. One half equals three six. You might remember that in class we talked about finding equivalent fractions to one half. Remember, if you can take your numerator and multiply it by two and it equals the denominator, it equals one half. So if you have a one half, you can always try that. If the numerator equals, the numerator times two equals the denominator, then it equals one half. If the numerator times two is more than the denominator, it's greater than one half. If the numerator times two is less than the denominator, it's less than one half. Those are all good things to think about. This will always work for you as well. Do your best, um, make sure you're doing your work, and if you need any help, I will be doing a live class pretty soon. Just make sure that you show up for that. I will see you soon, bye-bye.